so now uh, the cutting operations we are already seen now let us start with the bending operation <music> The operations for bending can be divided into the four categories. One is the angle bends. These are again having single, double or a straight bend. Then we are having the roll bending operation, roll forming operation and the seaming process. So basically what is angle bending? So angle bending is the process where the sheet is bent in a required angle. Right. If the angle of bend is less than 90 degrees, the bend is known as a single bending. For angle 90 degree, the bend is known as the straight bending. And if the angle is less than 90 degree and produced at two places, the operation is known as double bending operation. Then roll bending. Then roll bending is the process in which the sheet is sheet is bent in the form of rolled edges then it is roll bending roll forming it is a process of bending of the sheet between the rollers like rolling operation the process may also be used to form the any impression in the form of a bend and seaming is basically the uh, joining the sheets two sheets at the edges or locking of the sheets so seaming is the process of providing a mechanical lock between the edges of the two different work pieces the edges of the two work pieces are bent in appropriate direction assembled and pressed to form the seal okay so seaming is basically locking of two sheets at the edges this is also the sealing process that is a seaming now look at the bending operations we are having die bending so die bending is used for straight line bends on press bricks so in die bending we are having the v bending edge bending so what is v bending so basically v bending is done with a wedge shaped punch pressing the sheet into the v shaped die and the die used may be the air bend type or bottom end i see here this is the die having V shape on that our stock is there, our sheet is there and this is the punch which is pressing this sheet into this V shape die and the sheet is getting bent in V shape. Okay. The process is used to produce a sharper and more accurate bends in the thinner sheets, this V bending and V bending can be used for producing included angles which are acute 90 degree or obtuse so any of the angles we can produce either acute 90 degree or obtuse so edge bending so see here this is the edge bending your sheet is placed on this die and this is the punch and this is a pressure pad to avoid the lifting of the die this punch is applying the force where initially the die is placed like a cantilever beam and this part is going to press by the punch against the die. So this sheet is pain in a required angle. So see edge bending as shown in the figure is a cantilever type bending operation in which the punch forces the sheet metal over the edge of a supporting die. And the spring loaded pad clamps the sheet against the die block before the punch contacts it to prevent from the being lifted during the punch strike. So this is the pressure pad to avoid the lifting of the sheet. Next, let us see the press working terminology. So students, so this is a the simple picture of the press where we are having important two parts that is this is punch and this is die and left over things are the assembling of punch and assembling of die 
so various elements we are having like our bed or base plate we are having bolster plate die shoe our strip strippers then our punch plate we are having punch pads okay so all these things we are going to see it one by one in the place working terminology so please this diagram is very important so let us start with the bed this is the bed okay this is the bed so bed is the lowest part of the press and it acts as a table on which the bolster plate is mounted see here i have shown here this is the base plate on which the bolster bolster plate is mounted and this is the base actually on which the entire setup is mounted for the die okay so lowest part of the press and it acts as a table on which the bolster plate this is the bolster plate this this is the bolster plate is mounted next we are having the bolster plate so what is bolster plate it is a thick plate attached to the bed just now we seen it is used for locating and supporting the die assembly so why this bolster plate is used or required to support or to locate the die assembly and it is having the thickness of 50 mm to 150 mm this is the this this is the bolster plate having the thickness 50 mm to 150 mm and used to support the die okay then we are having this die holders see this die holders Uh, this also known as this is the die holder, and inside this is our die. So this is the die holder, or we can also known as the die retainer. Okay, so die holder also called it as the die retainer or die shoe. It is used to hold the die block. So what is the main function of die holder? To hold the die block in a proper alignment with the punch. so here alignment is very very important as punch is going to travel inside the die so to have the proper alignment of the punch the die blocks are the die holders are used okay and it is mounted on the bolster plate see here this is our bolster plate on which this die retainer is mounted then we are having the die block this is the die block this is the die block okay so what is this die block so it is the female part of the die set having an opening to suit the punch so the opening which is suitable for the punch and it is made of hard wear resistance material such as hardened high carbon steel high chromium die steel or tungsten carbon so definitely here the punch is going to travel on this die block so it should be wear resistant so that there should not be wear of the die so the die is provided with the die relief angle or top top about 0.75 degrees so that the cut pieces fall freely through the die opening so as shown here this is our die block next the stripper so strippers are basically provided uh, to prevent the sheet from coming up with the punch so when the punch is moving in inside the a uh, die and definitely it is taking the sheet along it either for pursing or blanking operation so to prevent the sheet metal from coming up with the punch so during the process So there is tendency to of sheet metal to adhere with the punch and coming out with the punch so to avoid this we are using the strippers so the avoid of avoiding this uh, sheet metal to come out with the punch during the return stroke we are using the strippers it may be fixed or the spring loaded uh, and may also guide the sheet see this is these are the strippers okay so this is the sheet 
okay this is the sheet or our st stock and when the punch is traveling inside the die so during the return stroke this strip or our stock we may get attached to the punch and coming back with the punch and to avoid this we are using this stripper these are the strippers it may be fixed or spring loaded then stock guides and packings so these are used to ensure that during the feeding between each operation the stock is guided properly to ensure the accurate location for each successive compound so stock or a sheet is uh, guided properly to ensure the accurate location for every successive component so stock stops and pilots are often used to ensure that after each operation the strip is moved to a correct distance and located properly for the next operation so for this reason we are using this stock guides okay so these are the stock guides or the see here these are the stock guides we are using or the packing for proper aligning or proper locating the sheet for every stroke so we will end this video here we will now next see the punch in next video thank you